hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel and like my videos and also watch the other videos on my channel so the last update about twist of fate palavi asked and forced rambro to follow ria to bangalore and prachi also supported palavi let's continue prachi asked rambro if he would talk to her if she comes close to him and kiss him he forwards his cheek for a kiss prachi comes back rambro asks her to kiss him and then he will say if he will talk to her or not Prachi says that he wants advance payment and doesn't want to do the delivery. Rambro says, I am scared that you will not kiss me and I will lose. Prachi says, you are already talking to me. She says, she fooled Baklu. He asks, why don't you understand? Stop me. He says, I would like stay away from you. Prachi asks him to look at her picture. He says, I cannot stay away from you and says, you are the medicine of my pain. Prachi asks him to imagine that he is in the office and under work pressure. Prachi says she would have refused when I said it. Rambro says he said that Rambro will go to Bangalore and ask her to make everything fine and says that he has stomach pain and he cannot go to Bangalore. Prachi says Ria will feel bad. He says then he shall come with me. We will go to the wedding, dance and we will have so much fun. He says our honeymoon will be spent there. Prachi says then we will work at home and the office, mom, dad and grandma. He says you are not getting affected. Prachi says, you are going with my sister for a good cause to unite her with her husband. She says, why will I be affected? She says, if you had gone with other girl, then I would have felt bad. She says, if you go away from me, then I will get freedom from you. Rambro says, you want freedom from your lover who loves you madly and says that the kite thread shall be held. If you lose it, then someone else will fly that kite. Prachi says, drama king and asks if he will give his heart to someone else so easily. He says, you know that I am a one-woman man and I will not look at anyone else until I am with you. He says, if I become of someone, then I will become of that person only. Prachi asks him, a song plays in the background. Ria hears them and says, you are going to be mine. That person is me. She says, when you fall in love with me, you will be mine. Prachi says, you will become of someone else easily and says, my name is written in your destiny. He asks, why did you eat me? Prachi says, with love. He asks, if your love is less, then eat me with force. Prachi says, if I tell you how much I love you, then you will feel pain. He says, I don't know fully, just wants to know from your mouth, and I will feel so nice. He asks her to express her love by beating him. She says that she cannot beat him. He says that he wants to know the depth of her love, and says that the love doesn't seem to be true, and you are bearing me and liking me just like that. Prachi says, if I had just liked you, then we wouldn't have married. He says in arranged marriage, love develops slowly and says maybe in a love marriage, the love changes into liking. He asks her to express her love to him and tell him that she wants to live her life in his embrace. Prachi says your expectations are much. Rambro says if you don't express it now, then you have less time. He asks her to confess her love in front of everyone and then only he will believe her. Prachi says how to express in front of everyone and says what is this childishness? Rambro says love. Abby knocks on the door. Pragya says you don't need to knock on the door and says we are husband and wife. He says there are many people who marry their boss. He says he came to remind her that today is his salary date. Pragya recalls Tanu asking him to earn money to get wine and fight for his rights. Tanu says I have money but it is for me. She says that she do care for him but she cannot give him money for wine. He says he just needs money today. Once I get salary today, I will return your money and I will hide the wine from Pragya. The flashback ends. He asks for his salary. Pragya says she doesn't have money to give him. She says, I can just give you credit card. You can buy anything, not wine. He says, what about the garage owner, due to whom I did this job? Pragya says, you shall not worry. It is cleared. She says, you can buy anything with the credit card, except wine. Abby says, if you have so much money, then I have much self-respect. I will find a way to earn money and I will earn money where nobody binds my hands. Then I will see how you will stop me from drinking. Ria thinks of what to wear and what to pack. She doesn't like the dress and she thinks that she shall wear something which doesn't make her look married and makes her look like before. Ria remembers the college days and says everyone was jealous of us. She says it was my mistake that I asked him to trap Prachi in his love. She says I ate her and my life's biggest mistake. She kisses back her clothes and thinks that she doesn't like anything. She thinks to go and shop for clothes. She goes out for shopping. 
Grandma asks Palavi if she will blame Prachi for this. Palavi says when I asked Rambo to go, then why did he refuse? Grandma says even Ria refused. Palavi says Ria refused, but agreed on our insistence. She says that she is not our daughter, but she gives us more respect than Rambo. Palavi says Vikram said that he will undo the office and ask Rambo to go, but he did not agree. Grandma says but he later agreed. Palavi says only on Prachi's sayings. Grandma asks her to think that Prachi agreed with you and asks him to go. She says everyone has their own reasons, but Prachi has no reason and then also asks Rambo to go as she wants him to go. Grandma says nobody respects you more than Prachi. Palavi says only Ria respects me. She says I like her a lot and I feel that she should have become my daughter-in-law. Grandma says she is your daughter-in-law. Palavi says you know how to make you understand. Ria sees Abit standing on the road and remembers her moment with him. A song plays in the background. Ria says my dad. Abit sees Pragya coming out and takes her to the car. He then closes the door and sits in the car. He leaves. Ria says you are with mom. It means that you missed mom and not me. You are with her and not me. The taxi driver calls her. Ria doesn't hear him. She thinks that Prachi said that she met mom and asks why did mom not call me. Then she thinks that she doesn't love me. Her daughter is just Prachi and not me. She says Prachi snatches my Rambro and my dad from me and thinks to take them back from her and Pragya and she calls Aliyah. Aliyah asks how is she? Ria says she is very angry as she saw dad with mom. She says that they went in a car. Dad sat on the driver's seat. Aliyah says your dad is your mom's driver. She says we are not understanding why Pragya is behaving this way with my brother and asks us to make food for ourselves. Ria asks if you are with dad. Aliyah says yes. She says my brother said that he fell down from the staircase by mistake but Anu has the doubt that Pragya wanted to kill him. She says we came here as we are scared for my brother and for his safety. We came here. Ria gets angry and says you should undo mom there and I will undo her dear daughter here. Alia says okay and asks her to take care of herself. Rambu was playing cards with grandma and says that he is the winner. Grandma shows the card and says that she has won the fourth time. She asks him to call her destiny that is Prachi. Prachi comes there. Grandma asks Prachi to give him some mantra to win. Prachi says all the best. Rambu says I will come back in some time. Prachi tries to stop him. But he tells grandma that the aunt beats him, who doesn't love him. Rambro goes and stands outside. Grandma asks Prachi what happened. Prachi says nothing. Grandma says when I had married your grandfather-in-law, I had to lie many times and these naughty things used to go on. Prachi smiles. Grandma says love and hatred doesn't hide. Rambro messages her to say I love you in front of everyone. Palavi comes there and asks Rambro what is happening here. Rambro says I was messaging on my phone. He gets a call and goes. Prachi reads his message and coughs. Sony says I will bring water. Grandma says there is something which you are hiding and it is coming out as cough. Palavi asks what. Prachi says nothing. She says I will make tea for everyone and goes to the kitchen. Rambu comes to the kitchen. She asks if he will have ginger tea. He says that he came to drink water here. Prachi says you have become mischievous. Rambu asks what are you saying. He gets a call and pretends to talk to a girl. Seda says I am on call and asks what are you saying. Rambu says you are a sweet girl and I know you hearing your voice. He says don't talk sweet. I will forget that I am married. He says I am a clean sheet, committed and married. He says if I was not married, then I would have another thought. Rambu comes out and asks Seda to hear what she is saying. He says we will meet tomorrow and asks what is she saying. He is feeling shy. He ends the call. Prachi asks him with whom he was talking to. Rambu says he will go. Prachi says I love you. He asks her to say it in front of everyone. Abby tells Pragya that you are refraining me from drinking as you ate my happiness and not because you love money. He says you don't like me to do what you don't like. Pragya asks what is it. Abby says my drinks. He says since I came here, I like to drink wine more. He says either the wine is good or the anger on your face is good. He says I love it. Pragya says you will not get one year. He says today along with anger, I will get to see disappointment on your face. He shows the wine bottle. Pragya calls Tanu and asks who gave him wine. Tanu says I didn't give him. Pragya says then who gave him wine? Alia. Grandma says I gave him money to buy a small quantity of wine. I couldn't see his condition. Pragya says you know how much he drinks. 
Grandma says he has promised me that he will drink little. Ragya asks, can you see his condition after drinking? And says it is a poison for him. Grandma says I gave him as a medicine so that he gets peace. Pragya says he needs us and not the wine. Abby says, what are you talking to grandma? And says she cares for me more than you. And says he doesn't want her lecture. Pragya says, this is my house and nobody will drink wine here. Aliyah asks her not to make the house as hotel. And asks if he will treat us this way. Tanu says you cannot order us around. Pragya says, whatever you want to think, you can think. But nobody can give him wine. Abby says, I will drink as much as I want. And if you try to stop me... Then I will drink in front of you. He goes. Grandma tells Pragya that he is very stubborn. And if he gets stubborn with him, then he will drink more. Pragya asks, do you want him to drink wine? Grandma says, I don't want to see him yearning for wine. Pragya says, whatever is wrong is wrong. And asks her not to do this again. Grandma says, I can apologize to you, but I cannot promise. She goes. Pragya asks Tanu, why did you people let him drink? Tanu says, he drinks due to you. To set up the fire lighted by you. Pragya says wine burns the people in fire. Abby says let me burn. But I will not lose a chance to make you jealous. He drinks. Pragya walks out of her house in anger. Aliyah says where did she go to? Tanu says that she has left the house. Aliyah says she will not go. And says that she went to find a way to stop him. Even she, she is stubborn. Abby hears knocking sound and thinks that he is getting sound from the bottle. He opens the nozzle and drinks. He hears the window knocking sound and thinks that the wind is knocking at the window. He opens the window and finds Pragya there. He asks, why did you come here as a thief? And says, I would help you to jump in. Pragya says, I can make you understand. And says that she has said that wine will not be drunk here. She says, either this wine or I will stay here. Abby says, this is a critical situation. He says, sorry. If you think that I will ask you not to leave the house and I will leave wine, then it will not happen. He says, there will be no fuming sin. Tanu hears them and smiles. Abby says you are here. Tanu says I heard you and says that Pragya's tactics will not work on Abby now. Abby asks her not to become translator as he understands English and Hindi both. Pragya says he is asking you to go. Abby asks Tanu to go and close the door. Tanu goes. Abby comes back and asks Pragya why did she owe the bottle. Pragya says nothing and says it was about to fall. I kept it properly. Abby says stealing is bad. And asks if Sushma did not teach you. Pragya asks him not to bring Sushma between them. He says we have everyone except what was there before. He asks her to come inside. Pragya says I will not come inside. He says it is good that you are not wearing white sari. Else people would think that a ghost has come. Pragya says she is looking up Sarah. And if someone teach me. Abby asks her to become teacher and give them lecture. Pragya says you mean that I shall go. Abby says it is your wish. I will drink here as I want to show you who I am. She asks, what do you mean? Abby says he is the bad shash of his thought and not a slave of love. Pragya says, okay, I will go. Mitali hears them and goes to inform Aliyah and Tanu. Tanu says Pragya was blackmailing Abby, but he was not agreeing. She says now Abby is changed and he will get happiness without her, but she is not understanding and she is foolish. Mitali comes there and says that Pragya is foolish and left from there. Taiji says that Abby doesn't care about Pragya and he will not bring her in. Tanu says Abby showed her a value. Mitali says Abby said I don't care and asks her not to interfere between him and wine. Tanu says he asked me to go and scold her more. Mitali says Abby said that he is the badash of his wish and wine will win. She says that she heard with her ears and enjoyed doing this. She says that she couldn't enjoy in the chall. Tanu asks did you understand why I refused the 6,000? And asks us to stay here so that when the wine breaks the fire, then we can pour ghee in it. She smiles. Thank you for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like this video and share it. And please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thank you.